Hi, my name is John Bergman. I'm one of the pioneers of the flipped classroom movement. There's a lot of misunderstanding about the flipped classroom. A lot of people, when they hear about the flipped classroom, they say, oh, that's just homework on videos and then worksheets in class. And though that could be it, the reality is it's about the best use of your face-to-face -face class time. This book um, tells the stories of teachers who've moved um, really beyond the flipped classroom. They started with the flipped classroom and they've moved beyond to a second version or a second iteration, if you will, that we like to call flipped learning. Flipped learning is the, is the advanced version of the flipped class, if you will. And this book takes you through those teachers and their stories as we learn from them about how they have really transformed their class from a more you know, teacher-centered classroom into a learner-centered classroom of the future. For 24 years, I was a high school science teacher. And in my science class, I was frustrated with not having enough time for my kids to do hands-on activities and also for them to get help on, I'll call it the hard stuff. You see, because what I was doing is I would send them home to do homework and they'd get stuck and they wouldn't get, have any help because their parents couldn't help say on high school chemistry. And so when they went home, they couldn't do it. So of course, when we flipped the class, there was a lot more time for me, the expert, to help the student with their class. So, so for me, the way I answered that question as a high school chemistry teacher was I wanted my students to do more experiments and also to get help on the more difficult concepts. But then my PE teacher friends, they had a different answer to that question. What's the best use of your face-to-face -face class time? So I wanna really encourage you to answer that question for yourself. What is the best use of your face-to-face -face class time? And as you answer that, I think you're gonna to come to the conclusion believe that a good education, regardless of whether you flip the class or not, is it's all about relationships. What we have forgotten in the dialogue about education is that teaching is an art and it starts with a relationship between the teacher and the student. That is the key. Uh, Sherry Kinder, uh, teacher in San Antonio, adopted this model. She says, you know what I love about this model? I don't have to go to school every day and perform five times a day. I get to go, go to school and interact with people. Teaching is about the relationship between the teacher and the student. And if we can maximize that relationship, if there's anything that we can do, if we can even harness technology to do that, that is a very powerful thing.